back to GoLeopards.com. Leopard fans, is Matt Panto here, along with the play-by-play -play guy for Lafayette Sports Network, Gary Lawbuck, as we are live from Patriot League Media Day. And Gary, yesterday we have football media luncheon. Today, play basketball media day. It's an exciting time here uh, inside the Patriot League. Well, it always makes it special when they give you one of these. <laughs> so you know it's a special day. And it's a little hard to uh, turn the corner sometimes from football to basketball. But uh, having looked at the uh, basketball schedule, the basketball players coming back, I'm in the mood already. You just heard Coach O'Hanlon uh, address the media today. What stood out about his comments? Well, I mean, I think he's absolutely right. They're unbelievably inexperienced uh, in terms of uh, numbers, and, and I think that's going to be the key. If they stay healthy, they'll be okay. Uh, but a lot of these guys don't have a history of staying healthy, and that could be a problem. You lose three integral parts in Rob Delaney, Jim Maurer, and Ryan Willen. Two out of the three um, are 1,000-point scores, and certainly Rob maybe the engine that made uh, that team go last year. What, what's significant about those losses? Well, obviously you have three outstanding players, and they brought different things to the ball club. Uh, you've got Ryan Willen, who was a, a terrific swing player, played the, the wing for the most part, great shooter, really an intellectual basketball player. He truly understood the game. Jim Maurer, was there a better three-point shooter or a guy who could really light it up when he got on fire? Uh, I don't think so. So he's that, he's that catalyst that if you're behind by 11, he can make that up in three possessions. Uh, and then, of course, you, you have Rob Delaney, who I thought was the inspirational and, and really the heart of the basketball team uh, because he just seemed to make everybody play harder. Uh, and so with those three guys gone and a lot of young guys to replace them, it's going to be difficult. And then you add in a Nick Pekovic, who certainly speaks to the inexperience and the depth maybe that this team might lack right now in preseason. Well, this is a basketball team that has only eight people back, and one of those is already hurt, and the other one is in a boot and not practicing yet. So, uh, you know, they went to Europe, played in Belgium in their last game, and had only had four current players on the floor. Everybody had to play the entire game. So it gives you an idea of the depth. Plus, you take that depth to practice. Well, if you've only got seven or six guys with experience practicing, that means everybody else isn't. And uh, you don't quite get the competition that I think you'd like to get because people just aren't sure what their roles are yet. With that said, that's the, the glean picture. Let's mm -hmm. turn to the bright spots. Mm -hmm. We saw a freshman class last year that played absolutely outstanding. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about freshmen is they turn into sophomores. How excited for you about the sophomore class? Well, I, I loved what I saw last year. Uh, here, here, I think, is the problem, and this will be the key to whether or not we have a successful season. Uh, it, there's a domino effect in basketball. There's only five guys out on the floor. So if you've got Maurer, Delaney, and Willen out there, and you take those three away, well, now the best defensive guy to guard a forward now takes one of those freshmen. The best defensive guy to guard a guard now takes one of those freshmen that be, are now sophomores. And, and it just goes down the road. So these guys have to get better quickly mm -hmm. because will they be at the level of Ryan Willen last year, Jim Maurer last year, Rob Delaney last year, Nick Petkovic last year? It's a tough question to answer. I don't know. With that said, you bring back in maybe the most important part in an experienced point guard. What do you think one of the Patriot League's best in Tony Johnson? Oh, I don't think there's any question. A healthy Tony Johnson is probably the best point guard in the Patriot League. A healthy Tony Johnson, and that's what we need. We absolutely need him uh, to be healthy. He's got a back problem. He's got a foot problem. He still has a pin in his foot that he has to overcome, and that's really why he is he's in the boot. But uh, Joey Tuzinski, I think, has unbelievable potential. Seth Hendricks has great potential. And uh, certainly Dan Trist last year, I, I thought, really uh, developed as well as any big man at his age as anybody in the league in a long time. Coach O'Hanlon touched on it a little bit in his uh, comments to the media. The schedule, uh, what he has called maybe one of the most challenging schedules, non-conference schedules that he's faced. Yeah, there's no question about it. Kentucky, Maryland, Minnesota, Stanford, Moorhead State, LIU. I mean, give me a break. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, if you play tough teams, you should get better just because of the competition. Uh, there's two things to worry about. You have to worry about the mental aspect of what happens if you go up against these, these guys and they, they just really beat you up. Uh, and that can all of a sudden wear on you, make you think you're not a very good basketball team, and you don't ever want your team to not think they're good enough to go out and win games. But I think this is great competition. It, I mean, you go to Rupp Arena. What what? What does any basketball kid in his life want to do but play at Rupp Arena? So uh, it'll be a great experience. I hope they, uh, they hang in there. They don't get beat up because they can't afford to get beaten up.
We'll get you out of here on this one. Early in the season, what are you looking for most? Are you looking for the progression of the sophomore class? Are you looking at the freshmen? Uh, are you looking for a healthy Tony Johnson? Obviously, all those uh, key in integral parts mm -hmm. uh, to a season. But what are you looking forward to most? You know what? I have a lot of confidence in the freshmen who are who are now going to be sophomores. I really think they're good basketball players. So to me, in order to make the team better, you need the freshmen to practice better because that will make everybody better. So to me, the development of the freshmen, and Fran has done a great job the last few years, I think, of bringing in some really good freshman talent who need to play right away, and they get that experience right away. Uh, so I think it's, uh, it's just critical that those guys develop quickly, learn the system quickly, and push everybody above them quickly. Basketball right around the court and approaching very quickly. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Gary. All right, Matt. Thank you very much. Matt Panto with Gary Lawbach, Lafayette Sports Network. The Leopards open the season November 9th as part of a triple header inside Kirby Sports Center.